Meanwhile, in Brazil, the biologists have found a frightening amount of microplastics inside of marine wildlife. Our next report gets you the details. Scientists in Rio de Janeiro are on a mission. They are taking dives into the ocean to find microplastics inside animals. The goal of this project is to evaluate microplastic pollution. In several ecosystems around Rio de Janeiro, they are using sea urchins as sentinels. Scientists believe the species serves as an indicator of this sort of microplastic contamination. It took me less than 10 minutes to find this much garbage. I'm tense because we have to take care of nature. There is no way this keeps happening, generation after generation. So whoever is here now has to take care of it, so everyone can enjoy this beauty. Researchers from the Urban Sea Institute and Rio de Janeiro's Federal University have acknowledged plastic objects that end up in the ocean. Break down into smaller pieces, these smaller parts end up inside fish and other creatures. Even sea urchins extracted from what was thought to be a clean area show traces of plastic on the inside. I was frightened. I knew I would find some microplastic, but I never thought it would be that much. The sample I showed you from the sea urchin is from a reference area that we thought to be clean. That is our cleanest spot. According to the International Solid Waste Association, single-use plastic consumption increased during the pandemic. A 2020 study predicts the amount of plastic going into the sea every year will rise from 11 million tons to 29 million tons. Such a quantity would result in accumulated 600 million tons swelling in the ocean by 2040. This is the equivalent weight of 3 million blue whales. Bureau Report, Mion, World is One. Mion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.